hey it's em for the law library and this video is an introduction to the law library in particular and the library more generally so we are found on the fourth floor of the student center as a collection the law library is available all of the hours the library is open however there are only people staffing the reference desk on level four for selected hours, and they are generally working hours on Monday to Friday. On top of that, law library staff are fairly scarce, so it's not usually us staffing that desk. If you need law specific help, and you really do need it quite particularly, rather than just coming up on the off chance, it will absolutely pay to get in touch with us first and make a specific appointment. That way, someone will be around who can help you, rather than just coming up on the off chance and then risking someone not being there. So on level two of the Student Centre, as you come in, is our general library desk. This is where you go for all collection related information, such as using the high demand collection, paying your fees, that sort of thing, paying your fines rather, and that sort of thing. There are also self-issue and self-return machines down there so you can get books out. And in addition to that, there are machines on level three that do much the same thing. Level four, however, does not have self-issue machines. So you need to go to a different level if you want to get books out from level four. This service desk is open, all the hours the library is open. However, you can't get assignment and research help here. The assignment and research help desk is on level four which is also where the Law Library and the New Zealand Collection are housed. Books on Level 3 are general books, and in the catalogue, which I will explain later, they show up as being in the general collection. But back to the, the reference desk. This desk is staffed by a variety of different teams, of which the Law Library is only one. As I say, particularly at the moment when it's just me, um, there will not be law library on that staff on that desk very often at all. So if you need law specific help, it really does pay to get in touch in advance to make sure you track me down. So what does the law library have? We have books and journals. We have hard copy statutes of law of in case law. And also we have things like law style guide and legal dictionaries. And as I said before, we do offer specialist legal help or legal research help, we don't actually offer legal advice because we can't, we're not actually lawyers, we're just librarians. So how do I find this stuff? Well, for books and journal articles, your first port of call is probably library search. That's the library's main front-facing catalogue, and it's what you see when you go onto the library's homepage, which I'll show you in a sec. If you want more targeted legal stuff, then the Law Subject Portal is a good place to start. The legal databases list gives you a list of all the legal databases, not just the most highly used ones. Of course, if you know generally what you're looking for, you can also browse the shelves. So, for example, you look up one particular book and you also browse the shelf to see if there's anything else useful around the place. Because in the collection, things which are about the same topic tend to be shelved together. And of course, you can always ask us where things are. If it's just finding where books and that stuff are on the shelves, then maybe ask who was on the desk rather than requesting a specialist law librarian. But if there's anything more than that, try and get hold of us instead. So as a collection, the law library looks rather like this. All of the shelves in the law library say law on the outside, so you know you're in the right place. And they're arranged using the Library of Congress system which gives an alphanumeric code to each book, and it is arranged broadly by topic area. K is the designation for law, so most of the books in the law library start with K something, and KUQ is New Zealand law, so that is the one you are most likely to use. To help you find your way around, there are little labels on the ends of each shelf that tell you broadly the range of books on that shelf, and some of the key resources are also highlighted on the second lot of shelf labels down below. So in terms of reading a call number, which is a little number on the side of the book, read the first bit in alphabetical order, 
The second bit is a whole number, and that really does mess with everyone's head quite a lot. So make sure when you're looking on the shelf that you're looking for the whole number. Don't look for a book with 6,000 this number next to books next to books that say six on them because you're not going to find it there. The third part is an alphanumeric mix. And the last bit's the date. This is particularly important if it's a textbook that has several different editions in the library. You want to make sure you're getting the right one. Getting across to our main library page now. As you can see, when you go on to the main library site, the library search is smack in the middle of the page. So use that to look up books and journal articles about a particular topic. For example, if you want to look up contract law in Zealand, that will bring you back anything with contract law in Zealand somewhere in the description or the title. And also, because this all searches ebooks and journals, it searches the full text in a lot of cases too. So you're getting quite a lot. And here we have a list of things which match our description. This one here, there's a whole slate of different editions, as you can see. So make sure you go into the correct one. Click on the second one there. It tells you how many copies there are and which bit of the library they're in. Scrolling down, it gives you basic bibliographic information which you can use when you are doing your citations in your essays or other assignments, so that's quite handy to know. And if you sign in, you can get some more options as well. So click on the little sign in button, staff and students. And if, for example, you're in Tauranga or you're a distant student or you just can't find a book on the shelf, you can click request and it'll get tracked down. And if you're a distance or Tauranga student, sent to you. If you're a Hamilton based student, you'll get an email saying it's there and you can collect it from level two, just near where the little, little library desk is. Going back to the main library page now, you can use my account to check out which books you have out, how, what, how much you have in terms of finds and all that sort of thing. You can use the subject portals link to obviously link to the subject portal for law, which I'll show you in a minute. And the key task menu has a whole lot of quite useful links too. One for booking group study rooms, which are really popular near exam time um, or assignment time, so just be aware of that. Um, you can renew your books, pay your fines, fines, databases and various things, place into loans, that sort of thing. The checking APA and booking tutorial links aren't that useful for you as law students. For starters, we don't use APA, so that's completely pointless. Um, booking a tutorial goes to a generic email address and they just send it to me anyway, so you may as well just email me directly if you want to book a time to come and see me. But now we'll look at the subject portals. And here is the law subject portal. So it just gives some really key resources for law, my contact details, has some specialisations for particular areas of law, has a little guides link that has some general guides about library related things, and our legal research skills wiki. And that's about it. So um, if you want to get in touch with me about this or anything else, get in touch. Details are on the screen now.